Its choc tops are legendary and its program spans the classics and the contemporary. The Astor, Melbourne's sole remaining single screen picture theatre, is turning 75 tonight. It's a place loved by film critics and movie buffs alike. This is Marzipan. She wandered into the Astor Theatre 19 years ago and, like many Melburnians, loved the place and now keeps coming back. Oh, she's so much leaps up on, on the ticket box counter. I've got no idea she's in the, in, in the foyer. And all of a sudden, she's right there in front of me. It scares the living down upside of me. <laughs> the cat was somewhere amongst the crowd as the Astor celebrated its 75th birthday. My parents brought me here when I was about six years old to come and see Ben-Hur. Came in here and it was just a golden kind of ambience. Before it was the Astor, it was the Rex. Before that, it was briefly a petrol station and another theatre called the Diamond, which was above horse stables. In the 60s, it was converted into a Greek cinema. Now the Astor is famous for its double bills of recent releases and old favourites. So people often applaud, people often you know, cheer at the end of a, a good film uh, or boo at the end of a bad film. It's very, um, as I said, it's, it's a very complete experience. The building was bought by nearby St Michael's Grammar four years ago and there are plans for a refurbishment and restoring the neon sign. There's no experience quite like being in a huge auditorium um, that, that's built for it. You know, it's built to carry sound to every person there, whether it's a thousand people or ten people. As part of the birthday bash, the Astor is screening the 1933 classic King Kong. As one film critic put it, this is how movies were intended to be seen. Kerry Ritchie, ABC News, Melbourne.